Hey guys, we are going back to school and we are moving into exam period. Now this is incredibly stressful time for you all. So I've come up with five ways that you can reduce your stress in the upcoming exam period. So a really great thing that you can do is meditation or mindfulness. Now this is going to take a bit of time out of your day, but I think it's really, really important that you spend that time focusing on yourself and you will see it pay off in your exam results. So what I've done for you is a collaboration with the fantastic Jessica. She's done a special meditation just for you to help you deal with exam stress. The second thing that you can do is colouring or doodling. There are loads and loads of fantastic colouring books out there. There are even some biology colouring books. I haven't managed to find any chemistry or physics ones for you yet, but I'm still looking. And if anyone knows, then just please tell me. Um, but yeah, colouring and doodling. Something that is active, something that is keeping your mind busy, but that you are not focusing on your studies. Now, I know that it seems weird for me to tell you in the upcoming two exams for you to not focus on your studies but you cannot spend all of your time studying. It is not good for you. Which leads me into number three. Do not stay up all night studying. You need to get some sleep. I have seen so many people turn up for exams going, miss, 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 I was up until 2 a.m. studying and I'm kind of like, no, why? Why do you do this? Because it is bad. Do not stay up till 2 a.m. studying. Do not drink loads of energy drinks. Do not drink loads of coffee. Do not eat loads of sweets. It's not good for you. You need to have good sleep and you need to have a good breakfast or a good lunch before your exam. I know this sounds like I'm nagging and yes, I am nagging, but that's because I do know what I'm talking about. So number four, get some exercise. And again, I know this is me telling you to spend time not studying, but it is really, really important that you get some exercise. Your brain is a muscle, it needs to be worked out by studying, the rest of your body needs to be looked after as well. So, sleeping, eating and exercising. And yes, I am nagging you and I'm not going to apologise for that. And then the third thing is planning well. If you know when your exams are, if you know what's coming up, if you know exactly how much time you're spending preparing for each exam, studying for each exam, you're going to feel a lot more relaxed, you're going to feel a lot more confident, you're going to be a lot readier when you go into that exam. I've got a few videos coming up where I'm going to talk people through how to plan their study timetables, how to plan their work timetables. This will be a really, really good thing for you to invest the time doing. So I know this is a really stressful time coming up for you. Trust me, teachers are feeling the stress as well. But there are lots of things that you can do to help relieve your stress. So meditation, mindfulness, colouring, sleeping well, exercising well, planning well. And remember guys, I'm here to help you with anything that you need. So if you've got a question, something you're not sure about, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Good luck guys, remember. We're nearly there, we can do this. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.